everybody, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Shane, and I'm Matt. Today we're looking at part three of Working Holiday, Holiday First, and Work Second. So a working holiday is one option after you finish college. Right. And there are many other different things you could do. You could start working right away in a job, or you know, what what did you do after you finished college? Actually, right after I graduated college, I moved to Spain, basically for a working holiday. Okay. I went there for one year. And I didn't have that much money,、mm -hmm. so I could stay for a whole year. So I needed to work a little bit while I was there. Okay. So what kind of work were you doing in Spain? I was teaching English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think when you can speak English as your、mm -hmm. native language, most often when you go to a foreign country, there's a lot of opportunities for you to teach. So, but to be honest, I didn't work very much. Instead, I decided to live a little bit more cheaply, right?、Mm -hmm. Not spend so much money, and that way I was able to keep my holiday first, okay, and my work second. Okay. Did you travel around Spain while you were yeah, there? Yeah, I traveled all around Spain. I was staying in Barcelona for、mm -hmm. most of the time. And then for a couple of months, I traveled all around Spain. Sounds like a great experience. It was the best experience of my life. So I would highly recommend for people, if you have the opportunity, to go on a working holiday,、mm -hmm. and you can really learn a lot about yourself and about the world.、Mm -hmm. And let's learn more about working holidays as we get into our article. Okay. A working holiday is a great way to see a country. It allows adults between the ages of 18 and 30 to really experience its food, sights, and more. Okay, everybody, welcome. So we are looking at working holiday. This is part three of holiday first and work. Second.、Mm -hmm. So in parts one and two, we had a dialogue between Brooke and Zach,、right. and Brooke was talking about how she wanted to go on a working holiday in New Zealand for six months to a year,、mm. and Zach had a lot of doubts and a lot of questions about why she would want to do this. Yes. And in the end, I think Brooke helped to at least make him see why it might be a good idea. Yeah. At the end, he saw he saw that okay, if I go on a working holiday, this could help me. Get、mm -hmm. maybe a better job, and、mm -hmm. he thought that that would be useful for him. Yeah, I think he didn't quite appreciate how seeing other cultures and people could help, <laughs> but he could see how it might be useful for him in terms of helping him in his future. Right. There are so many benefits of going on a working holiday.、Mm -hmm. Let's learn more about them. Okay, a working holiday is a great way to see a country.、Mm -hmm. It allows adults between the ages of 18 and 30 to really experience its food, sights, and more. Right, because you're staying for a longer amount of time,、mm -hmm. right? And you're also working there, so you're gonna experience more things.、Mm -hmm. Right, so you can really experience food, the sights, and more. Yeah. Right. So this says that it offers adults. This opportunity between 18 and 30、mm -hmm. years old,、yes. right? So an adult is just a person who is fully grown, and in most countries, you become an adult when you are 18 years old.、Mm, yes, that's right? right. So from here, they're saying from 18 to 30 years old, you can go on a working holiday. Okay.、Right? So yeah, so only for. Adults and only for what we call young adults. So that age, 18 to 30, is usually referred to as young adults.、Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, for older adults, those older than 30, you've missed your chance to go on a working you're holiday. You're just too old. <laughs> I wonder why that is, though. Why they decide that 30, you're just too old to do that. I think they want young people to be able to gain experience in other countries in order to. Help them experience the world before going into a career or a full-time job.、Right. Whereas, if you're over 30, you might already, you should maybe already be on your career 
path. Right, if, and maybe if they, all ages could do it, maybe too many people would want to come, mm -hmm. so they have to make the, maybe a little bit more narrow the ages that yeah. you can do it. Yeah, that's why. All right. So we're talking about going and seeing sites. Yes, so sight. A sight is a noun and a sight is something that you see. Mm -hmm. It's actually something that is popular to see. Right. So we can talk about famous sites. So probably the most famous site in Taipei is Taipei 101. 101. Uh, you should have asked me. Okay. I knew that. Wow. Right. So when you're a tourist and you're going to uh, another country, mm -hmm. you're going to want to go see the famous sites when you go there. So mm -hmm. Taipei, you have Taipei 101, you have to see that. Yeah. Right. And sight actually just means everything you see or your, se we talk about your sense of sight. So yeah. if you have a sense of sight, it means you can see. And if someone cannot see or they they can't see any more, we can say sh they lost their sense of sight or they lost their sight. Right. Mm -hmm. So we talked about being able to try the local foods, see the sights and more. Right. So one of the things that you can also do while during a working holiday is learn the language. Try and learn some of the local language or yeah. improve your ability at the local language. Right. I think for me, when I was traveling, like when I moved to Spain, I really wanted to learn Spanish. Mm -hmm. That was one of the reasons I went there. And when I traveled to Taiwan, I also wanted to learn Chinese. So I think it is a big reason why people will go to another country, right? Yeah, it's definitely a good reason. And that's probably why places like Australia and New Zealand are very popular, because people can go there to improve their English or to learn English. Absolutely. Okay, why don't we take a little break and yeah. learn more after the break. When the young adults run low on money, they can get short-term jobs. They can find positions at farms, restaurants, and other businesses. They may even find positions in their areas of study. With working holidays, the focus is on finding out about the countries. However, it's also quite common for the young adults to find out about themselves. Welcome back. So we're continuing to look at our article about working holidays. So we've learned that a working holiday is a great way to travel the world and it's for young adults between the ages of 18 and 30 and it allows them to experience the sights and the foods and more when they're in a country. Right, but the problem with that is if you're seeing the sights and you're spending money on food mm -hmm. and maybe different entertainment, that costs money, yeah. right? So continuing, when the young adults run low on money, they can get short-term jobs, okay. right? Well, because it costs a lot of money to travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, traveling is very expensive, and so it'd be nice to have some income or have some money while you are traveling. Right, so if you're running low on money or you're running low on something, it just means that you almost have no more left mm -hmm. of that thing. So here we have almost no more money. Mm -hmm. That means we're running low on money. Or you can say, for example, I need to go to the supermarket yes. because I'm running low on milk. Mm -hmm. It just means I, I, this morning I noticed when I was pouring my milk, uh-oh, there's just a little bit left. I need to go to the supermarket to buy more. That's correct. Yeah, another, other way, another way people would use this is if you're in your car and you can see that the gas oh. is going down, you might say I need to stop and get gas because I'm running low. You could be running low on energy too, oh, yes. right? You're tired. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have another vocabulary that word short term. That's right. So they talked about short term jobs. Mm -hmm. Short term jobs means for not a long time. So for okay. a short amount of time is a short term something. So, okay. so a term is just a, an amount of time. Right, a term meaning yeah, a length of time. So a short term huh. is a short one. And then we would say a long term meaning a longer time. So you might have a, if you wanted to stay in a home for not a long time, you can get a short term rental. It means that you can rent an apartment for a shorter amount of time. Or maybe usually it will be like one year, but if you get a short term rental, maybe it could be just for a couple of months, right? Yeah, so these short term jobs, I know that in some countries with working holidays, they'll actually limit the amount of time that you can work at one job. 
Right. So you need to move around from different jobs because the idea is that you're not there for work, <laughs> you're there for holiday. Yeah, and maybe just to get a little bit of experience doing something, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the article continues, they can find positions at farms, restaurants, and other businesses. Okay, so mm -hmm. a position at a farm, restaurant, or other business. So mm -hmm. a position here just means a job. Yes. Right, so I could say, for example, hey, congratulations, Matt got a position at 7-Eleven. Oh. It's a good job. Yeah. You get a lot of good work experience there. Yeah, and I like the food, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so continuing, they may even find positions in their areas of study. Okay, so that means that their areas of study are what they studied or what they learned in university. Or so college. Probably, yeah, so what they got their degree in is their area of study. So to find a job in your area of study is very useful because you have relevant work experience for when you maybe want to find a job back in your home country. Exactly. Okay. With working holidays, the focus is on finding out about the countries. Okay, so a focus is a thing or person that people pay the most attention to or the thing that is most important to them. Mm -hmm. So for example, when I travel, my focus is on relaxing. Oh, you know, a lot of people, when they travel, they want to get, stay really busy, see all of the sights, mm -hmm. and they're just running around. That's me. Um, whenever I come back from a vacation, because my focus is on just experiencing as much as I can, right. I'm always much more tired when I come back from a vacation. So when you get home, you need a vacation from your vacation, yes, right? I do. Okay, continuing. However, it's also quite common for the young adults to find out about themselves. Oh, okay, common is an adjective, meaning something that's normal or regular or happens often. Right. So it's common for them to find out about themselves, means maybe not everyone does, but many people do. Yeah, so. well, I think when you, when, especially when you're alone and in, your, in a new country and new environment, you're really going to really learn a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to find out things about yourself that you never really knew before because maybe you're in a more uncomfortable situation. You have to depend on yourself, make money, so you mm -hmm. grow up a lot. Yeah, so I think we all tend to find out maybe what we want to do later in life when we find out more about ourselves. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think we learned a lot about working holidays, and um, that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, and we'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. A working holiday is a great way to see a country. It allows adults between the ages of 18 and 30 to really experience its food, sights, and more. When the young adults run low on money, they can get short-term jobs. They can find positions at farms, restaurants, and other businesses. They may even find positions in their areas of study. With working holidays, the focus is on finding out about the countries. However, it's also quite common for the young adults to find out about themselves. Hello, I'm Tina. We're going to look at the main words of this lesson. First, adult. Adult, a noun, a person. This movie is only for adults. This movie is only for adults. This movie is only for adults. Next word is sight. Sight, a noun, a person. What is the most visited sight in Paris? In Bali, what is the most visited sight in Paris? Next word is position. Position, a noun, a person. A noun, a person. A noun, a person. What is the best position in a company? 在一间公司里最好的职位是什么？最后一个单词 focus. Focus 名词，焦点，重心。The focus of this lesson is on the education of women. 本课的重点是妇女的教育。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，between the ages of 18 and 30， 年龄介于十八岁到三十岁之间。注意这里的 age 要用复数哦。我们来看看这个例句。The place is perfect for children between the ages of two and six. 这个地方非常适合二至六岁的儿童。
。下一个文法 run low on something， 某事物短缺。low 指的是能量、数量、价值等低的、不足的这个意思。我们来看看这个例句 ：The copy machine is running low on paper。这台影印机快要没纸了。Copy machine 就是影印机。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，回去记得复习哦。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Hello, I'm Matt. I'm Chi Wen. We're about to play Guess the Bear. We each have three cards with sentences on them, and in these sentences, the vocabulary words or phrases are replaced with the word bear. We each have one minute to see if we can guess all three words or phrases. So, are you ready to go first? Let's do it.、Right, one minute on the clock. Let's start. Your first one is a noun. We rented a van to see the bears in the capital city. The guy they hired showed them all the best bears. Sight. Yes. Nice. Next one is also a noun. One word. Sarah's bear right now is raising her family. The company's bear is providing a great product. Can you say that again? Sarah's bear right now is raising her family. The company's bear is providing a great product. Company's bear. Uh, uh let's skip this. Okay.、First. This one is a four-word phrase. Kids, bear, 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 six and twelve can attend the summer camp. Nick lived in Thailand. Bear, 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 bear. Twenty and twenty-five. This is between the ages of. Yes, it is. Wow. <laughs> okay. So crazy. Okay. So the last one, the other one was Sarah's bear. Right now is raising her family. The company's bear is providing a great product. Company's the company. Okay. Was it? It's focus. Focus. It was focus. So、um, Sarah's focus right now is raising her family. And the company's focus is providing a great product. Gotcha. I was thinking like someone else in her family, like a, a parent or grandparent. You got the full phrase.、So. <laughs> okay. All right. You All right. Ready? My turn. Okay. Start the clock. Your first word is a noun. One word. I accepted a new bear with a different company. Her new bear pays much more than the old one. Job. Close. Career, occupations. Uh huh. Work. No, I don't know. Skip. Okay. <laughs> Next is also a noun. One word. In many countries, you become a bear at age eighteen. Only bears can do things like gamble and smoke. Adult. Yeah. Okay. Last one is a phrase. Three words. We're bearing bear bear milk. Can you get some? I'm bearing bear bear gas. I'll pull over at the next station. Running low on. Yes. Okay. okay back to the first one. Uh, I accepted a new bear with a different company. Her new bear pays much more than the old one. It's not job. It's close. Career. Is it position? Yeah.、Oh, okay. Position. Three out of three.、Okay. Awesome. Yeah, that was because there's a lot of different words for like jobs or or、yeah, work or career and it's all、other. yeah. So position though. You just needed a, a little breath to think about it. <laughs> I know when we skip to the next card, I thought I might have it, but then I, I wasn't sure. Yeah. So, anyway, you got. I'm surprised you got the forward phrase. Yeah.